Hi, my name is Keith Cooper, North Flight Images, and in the, this short video I'm looking at a very interesting product, a new spectrophotometer from Epson. Now, I'll cover some of the things you can do with it, but right up front I'm going to say this is a tremendous bit of kit, but at the moment there just simply isn't the software to do the sorts of things that I would do, so that's making uh, colour profiles for printing and other things like that. It has very specific uses. Um, I think it has a lot of potential. I'll show you, show you the device, the sort of things you can do with it, what it's aimed at, and I'll come back for your suggestions, but I think you ought to be able to do with it. Well, what is it? Um, well, I've used spectrophotometers for quite a while for making profiles for printers. Um, you can use them for screen calibration as well and profiling, although te they tend to be used more for in print related things. And this is the device. As, uh, no connection to it. It has a USB socket here. Comes in its own little carrying case. Has a USB lead, charging lead. A USB-C lead goes into it to charge it. And it has a display screen of its own. Um, now it's rather neat. It starts up and I have a very good quality screen here. Now um, these are not my close-up glasses, so I have to hold it for a slight distance away. But you can see immediately it comes up, it starts up here, it's in spot reading mode. So what does that mean? It means I can just put the, the uh, device, and it has this little reading hole here. Uh, there's a uh, calibration tile you can flip over it for calibrating the device. But there we go, it's got a button there, I just put that there it beeps and it produces a reading in LAB, measure 93 minus 0 0.1, 0 0.5. So it basically tells me that paper's fairly white. Well, I think we knew that. But why would you use one of these? Well, you typically use it for uh, spot color measurement. Now, the spot color measurements that you take with it, they're recorded in the device, can build up a collection of spot colors, a, a, a patch library. But they're in the device. You don't really want to write them down. How to get it? It's Bluetooth and it will connect through to an app on a phone and that's probably the way you would use it most for getting the data out of it. Get it onto a device. How you then get it off here onto wherever you want, I don't actually know. Uh, the lab LAB measurements, they are not spectral measurements in this instance, although the device itself is a full spectrophotometer, so it should be possible to get full spectral data out of it. Now, this is where my interest comes in because that's what I'd use for profiling. So, if I had a device like this that was able to measure patch targets, put it into the probe bits, I'd be able to make printer profiles. And that's where it comes. Because at the moment, the only real device I've got, I've got several x ray devices, um, spect the i1, I've got an i1 ISIS, all these things are spectrophotometers. This is Epson's own design, um, has some interesting features in it. I'll, I'll put some links to the technical stuff, so if you're interested in this, you can look it up in terms of its uh, accuracy. It's measurement mode, so it supports lots of different measurement modes. Um, it has its own inbuilt light source, so if I actually just point this at my hand, you should be able to see Well, it comes in a measurement failed, mail measure again. It's not really meant for that sort of thing, but it's the fact that uh, a light comes out of it. It seems to be measuring the lightness of my lighting over there. Well, anyway, hours of endless fun for you, measuring colours and things like that. But, as I said, it connects via Bluetooth, so I can connect it up to this phone. There's an Epson Spectrophotometer app. And it tells me that it's connected, it's paired, it's low, low energy Bluetooth, and I can now measure colors. Um, I can do this remotely from there. So let's, here's the box. It's got a blue top on it. Let's see what color blue that is. I'll just pop that on there. It's measured it. And there is the blue on the screen showing it's a color blue here, 54.7. Minus 13.8, minus 33.2. That's the LAB value 
for it. Now, it also, this has Pantone library in it, so it can give me the nearest Pantone colors. So if you need for spot coloring measurements, if you need to build up swatch libraries for things, this is all the sort of stuff that I don't, I'm a photographer, so I don't do this sort of stuff. My interest in this is because it's spec photometer, but this is what most people will want it for. You've got spot colors, it works with the Epson Edge, print software, uh, you can do spot color replacement, various things like that. Uh, but the key element here, you've got this mobile app, I can send the data, I can mail it, I can do various things. There are a few options you can do in here, you can do comparisons, you can build up a library. So it's good for color measurement. For process control, if you need to make sure that the color blue coming out on your printed labels is the right color blue, you can use this. So, yep, a very nice device. As I say, it comes in its own little case. Nice, good quality screen on it. What's not to like? Well, um, it doesn't do anything of use to me. Um, this is one of those things that if you gave it me, I would go, wow, that's great. That's a really nifty bit of kit. And then I would wonder what I'm actually going to do with it because there is no software development kit as far as I know at the moment for it. And with an SDK, Software Development Kit, that's what you use to take the data from this and do something else with it. Include this as a device, it can, scat, it can do measurements. You could use this for building profiles. You could use something like this with Argyle CMS, were there to be a way of getting the data in in a usable form. It may well be from building patch sets, but I think that's a bit, a bit clunky. But this is a device with so much potential. What else could this do in? Well, this is Epson's own design spectrophotometer. You could pop it inside their printers, in the larger printers. You could use this to produce profiles for checking, for uh, quality control, all the sorts of things that currently you use the giant great Epson SpectraProofer device that fits on this here. Um, so there you have it. It's a great device, but it's a device in search of applications. Well done for Eps to Epson for coming up with it. Um, the design of it is excellent. It even has a sort of like leatherette finish on it. It's, it's a, a splendid device, but I keep thinking, yeah, um, what am I going to do with it? So please, Epson, if this gets back to you at all, find useful things for other people to do with this. I can think of software packages which have been around for years for um, printer profiling and the like, which would be absolutely superb if they were included with something like this. Well, it's, yeah, the ball's in your court, Epson. I know it may not, uh, this may not be applications you're thinking of, but I think there'd be a market for it. Um, anyway, if you've got some, if you want some questions, please do ask them. I put some extra information in the notes uh, to the video. So if you want technical information on this, incidentally, if you're buying one, do check the particular options because there are some options of buying this that work out much cheaper than others. Um, I'm not entirely certain why, but uh, have a look at how Epson prices things in terms of support and other stuff like that in terms of getting something like this, if it's of use to you. Um, so there we go. Great device. It will now go back in its box and I'll send it back to Epson um, until it can do something useful to me rather than a commercial print operation. If I did commercial print design, I can think it might well be useful, all that swatches, color measurements, measuring the color of device of you know, objects and things like that. But uh, not so. Anyway, I hope that's been of some interest. Uh, as I say, please do subscribe to the channel if you find it of interest. I do cover quite a lot of color management stuff in connection with printing, but tends more to be printers like this one, Epson 18100 or the P5000 here, photo printing, art printing rather than commercial print. Thanks.